Hello everybody, um, this is Collateral Rust Part 3. Um, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it sooner, it's just that I've been so busy at home with different things going on. So hopefully between now and next week I'm going to get the rest of the tutorials um, uploaded and then you can all complete your books. So today I'm going to be doing um, the next page, so page 2 in the album, which is a pocket and two photo cards, mats. So let's begin. So this is our page one of our book that we're making and this is the back. So the first thing we're going to do is make the pocket. Now the pocket measurements are eight and a half by three and a half. If we get our trimmer, let's cut it at eight and a half by three and a half. And then we're just going to grab the scoreboard. And score it at half an inch on the two short sides and one long side. Then I'm just going to trim off the corners to create some tabs which will make it easy to fold and easy to stick onto your page. And just fold them over and press them down. And it should fit on our page. Just like. So, so first thing I'm going to do is cover my page before I stick my pocket on. So, I'm just going to find some hand paper. Seven and five eighths by five and five eighths. So five and five eighths. On there. Just make sure you've got your paper up the right way. Book page. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that down, then I can stick my pocket onto the top. And then the pocket, I'm just going to put some glue on the tabs. And I'm just going to place it in the centre. Um, 
and you can put it where you want to position it how you like it the best and I'm just going to press down on those edges So, just going to uh, put some paper on there to decorate that. So, it will be seven and three eighths, I think, seven and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Mine doesn't quite fit, but I'm going to use this to save me cutting into a new piece. So, what did I say it was? Seven and three eighths. It might be a bit shy of that actually. I'll just try that and see. So I think what I'm going to do is stick that on the bottom there and then I might just add a border across the top of my pocket. So the gap is a little bit too big. Yeah, so that is that bit. So next we need the photo mats. So again, I'm just going to cut my photo mats out and then if I've got enough paper at the end, I'm going to decorate them. But I am running short of this clutch now. So the photo mats are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And we need two of those. Or you could put more in if you... Um, would like to i think you could probably get up to four maybe four photo mats and they just have to be careful with um space and pressure you don't want to pop the pocket off the page so four and a quarter by six and a quarter and In there nicely. so that is page two so the next thing i'm going to do is uh, glue my page into my book i like to glue my pages in as i make my album and then by the time you've finished you should have um and it should be all dry and then you, you've got your album there ready i'm just going to slip out the photo map from the middle so that we can check to make sure that fits doesn't quite actually, so I'm just going to trim off a little bit. I don't know why that doesn't fit. So 
So, should fit on there. There we go. So, I am going to put some glue on the tab and then I'm going to put my book on and page on, sorry. And I tend to hold them on with pegs um, until, until it grips. And it, you can get on with other things then. I'm just going to hold that on there with my hand first and then I'm just going to attach uh, the pegs to hold it on in a minute. So there we go, page one is in. So, page two. So, I'm just going to put that to one side to dry. And I'm just going to finish the page first because I can't remember how to grenade them. So, seven and three quarters. So we need our page base. So we need one piece at seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then we need another piece that is seven and three quarters by six and three quarters. So then we've got our tabs to fold over. So five and three quarters. So again, um, just shy of uh, five and three quarters for this one so that it fits in between the tabs. And then seven and three quarters. And then we need, I don't know if this is going to be big enough. It is. Um, no, it's not. Oops. So I'm just going to grab some more card. Six and three quarters. Or seven and three quarters. And we're just going to grab the scoreboard again. So we're going to put six and three quarters side at the top of the scoreboard, and we're just going to score a half an inch. And we're going to flip it round, six and three quarters side on the top again, and score at half an inch again. And we're just going to fold those over. And press it down. And then our page should fit together. Perfectly, like so. So I'm just going to glue that. I'm just going to get them. So I like to position the piece inside and then add the glue and press the tabs over. So I'm just going to glue that. And just press it down until the glue grabs. Sometimes it's easy to turn it over and use your table to help you keep it all together. And then I'm just going to add glue to the other side and do the same again. Let's press that over. And that is page two, uh, page three. We will start in a minute. I think it's the side page. So, I'm 
just going to check in here. Yep, so we've got a side page and two photo notes. So I'm just going to measure the page, pocket, sorry, side pocket even. So I want it by three and a, three and a half by, so that is... Five and three quarters, so six and three quarters. So three and a half by six and three quarters. So I'm just going to grab my trick again. So three and a half. By six and three quarters. And then we're just going to score uh, three sides. So we're going to score the two short sides at half an inch and a long side at half an inch. I'm going to cut into it again just to create those tabs. So just a diagonal uh, cut across where the score lines meet. And then I'm just going to fold the tabs over and press it down. And then just make sure that's not going to fit us enough to Oh no, it does fit. Oh, I've measured it wrong then. So that should fit perfectly. Yeah, on there. So this time I'm going to stick my pocket straight on and then I'm just going to add some decorative paper on. So I'm just going to get my glue and just position it and press that down. sheets left now so I think I'm going to use the um, other half of what I used on the other page, the back side of it, which is these bottle caps. So I'm going to put that there and then just need a strip for my pocket. So I'm um, just going to try and find a combination that I like. So, 
So I'm going to cut those out now. So the pocket was uh, three by five and three quarters, wasn't it? So we want that, that five and one, five and five eighths by two and seven eighths. So I'm just going to cut that out here. So five and five eighths. By two and seven eighths. That should fit. And then the pocket will be uh, five and five eighths again. And then I tend to just do it so it just goes in so five inches it should be fine. Five inches by five and five eighths. It should just slip in there like so, and there we go. That looks Pretty good. So I'm just going to glue those on. Oops. You should be able to just slip it inside your pocket and then just manoeuvre it to where you want it. And then just do your pocket paint, paper and just line it up. I have a little bit of wiggle room with this glue, which is great. There we go. So I'm just going to line it up like that. So again, I'm going to make two photo mats to go in there. You probably can get four in there, but just bear in mind if you've got double sided photo mats, um, they can become quite thick. So I'm just going to do two photo mats. So um, same again, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And again, I'm just going to um, leave those blank until the end and then see how we go. So that goes in there just like that. Right, I'm just going to, I'm going to end the video there and I will be back shortly for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for bearing with me. Okay, see you soon.